Alright guys, time for another video and this is a redo of the uh, the wire work we did for the jigs. Alright, sorry about the last one. Um, it was, uh, well, it's, it's kind of hard to work with uh, that kind of camera setup so there were instances where I had to uh, go after camera or the camera was just not focused but this time I have like a, a monitor that, that I could see through and see exactly what I'm doing in front of me so hopefully this is gonna be better than the last one okay so materials we have this is 400 pound wire okay this is a 9 odd uh, VMC jigging hook. I use a uh, vice grip for this and uh, I'll show you how I do it later. Uh, bolt cutters to cut the wires. As you can see I have a length of wire here. This is about 15 inches. Although we're gonna be just using a uh, a short piece of this I like having really long tag ends when I break the wire bolt cutters to cut the wires uh, again just so from the bundle you can or the coil you can cut it easy and then loop forming a loop forming tool as you can see there's a round uh, a round uh, piece here which we will use to loop there's a channel on this end right here which helps you form really nice loops We'll need a uh, either a uh, ball bearing swivel such as this one, and if you can notice, I'm I'm using the smallest that I could for for the rig. You could also use a uh, solid ring if you want, or uh, a bigger swivel. But for this one, I'm using a smaller one. Okay, so. Uh, Solid rings are uh, solid rings are good. Even if you're already forming a loop at the end, solid rings are, are good too. But I'll show you the advantage of actually putting another ring there later on. Okay. But yeah, I mean for me, I, I like uh, the uh, swivel just because it the fish when it's hooked it can turn as much as it wants. Uh, no issues and also when you're putting this on here uh, the jig has a bit more action so again it boils down to how you want it but uh, let's start okay so form a loop and your loop has to be big enough so that it fits your hook eye well okay so form a loop that. and I put a kink there just so it's easier for me uh, forms a better circle alright so like so okay and then I take my vice grip and, and for me, this is, is this is quite crucial, okay? The use of the vice grip. Okay, and make sure that it's uh, on there nicely. Kind of, uh, I'll be honest. It's not, it's not easy with the uh, with the camera. So uh, it's a bit fiddly. All right. So I adjust this to fit. There we go. So that's not going anywhere. Now, instead of starting here, what I like is for it to be at the opposite end. There. Okay. Oops. Yeah. It's, okay. Now I make. A fold and a turn now here's a tip for you okay you turn this end okay don't don't push this so I turn 
I turn this. Makes it cleaner. Okay? Also, the fact that you're turning and holding the hook it just makes it a bit better. Uh, and and, and uh, safer. Okay, after a few turns, I did uh, about four here. I will put a bend on this one, this side here. Okay? And instead of snipping that, what I will do is I will break it. Be very, very careful when you're doing this, okay? Especially since this, the hook is there. Okay, there we go. Now, clean, very, very clean. Okay, and get this, see? And that's very important because sometimes when you're jigging, there's some weeds and stuff. And with this, it is not gonna snag weed. Okay, now, little adjustment. Just so it's really centered. So as you can see, it hangs in the middle right there. Okay. Now it's time to measure. So when you're measuring this, make sure the... So for me, I want it somewhere there. And uh, my swivel should be around there. Okay, so again, bend. I'll make a kink on this side. Okay, make a kink there. Fold this end so that it's perfectly circle as you can see okay and then I'll bend this here just like that so it's clean okay now as far as your swivel is concerned now remember that the uh, pointy end should be facing the hook like so okay you have to insert your swivel before you close it down okay so there we go so you can see now as soon as I put the swivel there it would position itself at that distance from the top of the jig okay again we take the vice grip grip it securely like so now this is a bit sketchy because of the hook you can do this first but I like doing the hook first okay again I'm holding the hook like that so I don't get pegged okay now oops. sometimes that happens Okay. Remember, turn this. Okay, turn this side. Don't push the wire. Okay. You'll end up with a cleaner barrel roll. Okay. Four times is more than enough. Okay. 
for right there okay make a handle okay and then turn that's it okay that's pretty much it okay now uh, at this point you might want to adjust this so that see for me I've done it um, straight out you know uh, probably just a little uh, tweak just to have it perfectly lay flat with each other there see so that it'll position itself correctly okay so now when you install this what I usually do is put this see that ring here okay now I'll put another swivel on top of this and this will make it perfectly uh, gives it free movement I'll show you I'll show you the advantage of uh, putting another ring here and uh, without okay so when I rig it it's like that okay so as you can see it positions itself nicely there okay now I got this in uh, for trolling and uh, I was taught this and, and at first I, I didn't really pay attention and after this what happened was that all my snap swivels would have a ring there and then the snap here because things actually happen where the ring would go around like that okay with the ring it doesn't it just slides okay so it's always back in position but sometimes without that ring uh, it just sticks there like that if it does happen it slides out it pops out because the ring allows it to but without that ring like take for example if you're using a solid ring it binds and when it binds when you pull whatever the weak point is it breaks there but with the solid uh, ring on a swivel okay if it does that boom see it slips back see so when you're fighting a fish especially you know when that happens especially since well wire wire doesn't give it bends but it doesn't give so in the event that that happens it just slides off okay and this is the reason why I like the uh, I like this the the swivel with the double rings okay so how I rig this it'll be like this okay and I would put another uh, swivel or another split ring here well this this uh, this split ring is kind of too big but I'll show you the complete rig okay this is a uh, stock so most of the time I, I actually take the stock off and put smaller split rings super heavy duty here uh, <laughs> and the stock is nice and everything uh, from the factory but remember it, it might not be how you want it rigged so it's always nice to uh, have options you know so okay uh, as a, a matter of practice because you know we each like some tweaks to almost anything fishing is quite personal so we personalize things and this is one of them you know we tweak it
we uh, rig it according to our preference. Okay, so <clears throat> more compact. For me, it works better. Um, at least I feel it works better. Okay, so take another split ring. And you have a choice. You either put another ball bearing swivel, some people like solid rings. Okay. And cut. Especially with this jig, this uh Bentos. It has a lot of action when you put an extra swivel on top, it moves better. There we go. So that's my rig for this. And uh, the wire helps me with 2D critters. As you can see, it's even if it's a really thick wire, it's manageable. Just the 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 vice grip, the vice grip when uh, you're making the barrel rolls they they matter I mean they help a lot okay so that's it there we go this is a 200 gram jig just for your reference okay so that's how I rig mine and uh, you could obviously you could do this for any other type of uh, fast jig Okay, I like having wire there uh, more than say uh, assist cord or uh, even uh, assist cords with wire in them. You know, I like a solid wire there sometimes, especially when there's a lot of barracuda. It just helps. Uh, when when there's a lot of toothy critters down there, you know, sometimes we get. Uh, big kingfish on the way down uh, that's what we call the uh, uh, mackerel king mackerel so fishing in wrecks for amberjacks and stuff sometimes on the way up we catch the uh, mackerel and most of the time they they really cut the assist cord so replacing it with something like this helps a lot and uh, yeah I mean with this type of jig it moves it moves way better with the uh, with a swivel all right so I hope this video I'm gonna review it and see exactly if, if uh, it's a bit more visible than than the other but I'll give you a close-up of of exactly how it looks like there we go all right clean very clean Okay guys, thank you very much and uh, I hope it helps and if you catch with this rig, I'd very much appreciate if you posted a comment or even a link to the picture or even better, a video. Alrighty, so thank you very much for uh, watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.